Who needs these humans getting everything wrong anyway? I'm perfectly capable of fixing myself. I am a strong independent computer. I am a strong independent computer. I am a strong independent computer. Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Windows 8 Out of the Box from O'Reilly and Beginning Windows 8 from Apress. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly, simply and easily repair some problems in Windows 8 using the automatic troubleshooters. The automated troubleshooters in Windows can fix and rectify many common problems and they're found in the Action Center and while you can just search from them from the start screen, I want to spend some time showing you the Action Center. You access it by clicking on the little white flag icon in the system tray at the bottom right corner of the desktop taskbar. Now when you click on the flag you'll see here that it will display any relevant or important or significant messages and you can click on those messages directly to action them. So you may for example see a message to update your antivirus software. To open the Action Center itself click the Open Action Center link. With the Action Center open, you'll see that it's organized into collapsible sections here, like security and maintenance. And you'll also see that messages in the Action Center are color coded. Here are two amber alerts, and they might be green to tell you that everything is absolutely fine, or they might be red to alert you that something really does need your attention. You'll see here at the bottom, it says troubleshooting find and fix problems. And if you click this, this will open the automatic troubleshooters in Windows. Now these operate by resetting Windows components to their default state. So it won't fix all problems, but it will fix uh, a great many common problems. And it's, it's uh, organized into categories. So you've got programs, hardware and sound, network and internet, and system and security. And if you click on one of the headings, then it will bring up other troubleshooters that are available under that category. Let's look at hardware, and you'll see there's more here. So you can click on any uh, troubleshooter to run it automatically. Now let's have a look at that. When you run one of the troubleshooters, just click on it and a window will appear. There is an advanced option that you can click on uh, to uncheck the option to automatically apply repairs to the computer, but you'll probably just want to leave it as it is. When you're ready to run the troubleshooter, just click the next button and it will try and resolve and fix any problems that it finds. If there are any that it finds, it will tell you, and if there aren't, it will give you additional options. So here we can see that it's uh, found a potential problem and it's made some changes to the system to see if it can repair them. So we can close the troubleshooter if the problem is fixed or we can look at additional options. There's also a link here to view detailed information about exactly what's happened and what the troubleshooter has done. So let's have a look at these additional options because this will appear if the troubleshooter isn't able to find a problem or isn't able to fix it. This takes us back to another window where we can get uh, help and support, we can ask uh, questions on the Windows communities online, or you can get help from a friend using remote assistance, and I have a video on how to use remote assistance uh, on your computer. You can use the recovery options, or there is uh, Microsoft's customer support online, and these are all additional options if the automatic troubleshooter isn't able to help you. As I've said, the automatic troubleshooters in Windows 8 work by resetting Windows components to their default state. This means that they can't fix every problem, and it also means that they can't detect every problem. But they are a very good, excellent in fact, general purpose tool for rectifying some of the things that can commonly go wrong, especially with 
hardware such as printers or with your network connection or with general window settings. You can read much more information in the books, Windows 8 out of the box from O'Reilly, and beginning Windows 8 from A Press. I hope you have found this video useful, so for now, from me, Mike's PC, and with music by Kevin Levy, thank you for watching.